Hey y'all, my name is Tone and we are here in the New Liberty Distillery Courtyard celebrating the newest release of our Millstone Sour Mash Rye Whiskey. Now we've been aging this for y'all for two years in oak and I am so, so excited about this. Because of that today, we are actually gonna get to peek a little bit behind the curtain and sort of see how it was made. Now after we get to see how it was made, we are also going to be taking on a classic cocktail and today we're gonna to be making the Sazerac. Now rye, just like bourbon, does have a few legal classifications. It must be 51% rye in its mash bill, and it also, just like bourbon, must be aged in new American oak. Now even more specifically, as we're talking about this rye that we're unveiling today, it's gonna to get a lot of its quintessential flavor from that sour mash fermentation process that we're putting it through. Now folks, I am no expert on sourdough in any means, so we're actually gonna be taking a field trip today. We're gonna to be heading over to our friends at High Street Philadelphia who gave us the sourdough starter we need to make this whiskey itself. And perfect timing, y'all. My ride is here, so let's get going. Please be unlocked. For this bottle of whiskey, we're gonna take 100% locally sourced rye. We're gonna grind that up into a, uh, almost a flour, toss it into a big pot, and basically make the biggest amount of oatmeal you ever did see. So what's super cool about the sour mash fermentation process is we are actually gonna take some of this mash that is previously made alcohol, so it's got a little bit of booze in it, and we're gonna throw it into the next batch. We're also gonna take a little bit of the high street sourdough starter, get some of those local yeast in there, and really get the party started. Awesome folks, so we have made it to High Street Philadelphia. We are here with Alexander, the head baker, and he is gonna be showing us a little bit about the sourdough fermentation and what that what it takes to get that yeast started. Uh, sorry. No, you're good. That's okay. So yeah, if you, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming in today and uh, let's go do some sourdough. Awesome, let's get it going. The way we always start our uh, country dough is we scale everything out first. It's just a quick way to kind of um, speed the process along. Awesome. We use uh, really awesome local flours, um, bolted wheat from um, Castle Valley Mill. We use awesome. Deer Creek's malt. Um, we put that together. We add our water and our starter. So we're gonna mix that in as well. And through using a starter, you end up getting uh, a lot of that flavor, a lot of the like funk that you would not get from using yeast. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. Now we're gonna add the salt to our sourdough. And then after that, we're gonna let it rest for about half hour, 45 minutes, and then give it a series of turns. As you're kind of developing and doing the, uh, the turns and fermentation is happening, the, uh, like the starter itself is kind of uh, processing the, uh, the wheat, the gluten, breaking it down, and kind of, um, it's like burping essentially, Very, creating carbon yeah. dioxide, which is those kind of like air bubbles in the bread. Which, if we all remember, is very similar to that fermentation process we were talking about for our own whiskey, where we're producing alcohol and CO2 from our yeast and sugar, and again, trying to just let it really grow and let it give it time to kind of build all of that up. That's super cool. So now we're going to turn it over. From here, we're going to divide it into two pieces, uh, pre-shape it, and then uh, go from there. And you're very good at that. All right, so now the dough's rested, we're gonna turn it over, put it into our baskets, and then say goodnight. Good night. Fast forward to perfect sourdough, cut into it and give it a taste. Wow. Cool. That's gorgeous. Oh, wow. Like you said, that creaminess, but like the airiness of the bubbles, that like crunch of the crust, man. This sourdough is gonna go so, so well, probably with a cocktail. So we're gonna actually head over to, their, to a bar space that we got going. We're gonna get a Sazerac going and we're gonna see how well it goes with the sourdough. Let's get it going. Are you uh, a big, big cocktail drinker? Do you enjoy, uh, is it, do you have a, a go-to cocktail? I uh, usually do old fashioned, but definitely want me a Sazerac. Sweet, sweet. So I guess we'll see. Awesome. And the first time I ever made a Sazerac, I made it so wrong that the man refused to pay for it. Um, so I'm not nervous at all. So folks, like we said, we are gonna build this right in the glass. We wanna start with our rinse. Again, this absinthe rinse. So I'm gonna measure out around three quarters of an ounce, and I'm just gonna pour half of that into each of my glasses. Whee! Just gonna coat in our glass. 
just having a good time with it. So now we're getting into our bitters. Uh, again, Peychaud's and Angostura. We are going to do two dashes of Peychaud's, one dash of Angostura. Then we're gonna do a half ounce of simple syrup in each glass. And then we are gonna get two ounces of our Millstone Rye Sour Mash Whiskey. I'm so excited for it. Like for good luck. Love it. Just for good luck. That's how I make sure people like my cocktails. So again, let's just get a nice hunk of lemon, whatever we can get in these little small guys. Always again, skin side down. Really just breaking that citrus nice and into our cocktail. Give us a little flavor and nose on the outside of the glass and we'll drop that in. And now all that we need to do is get our ice in there. We do want to give this a stir for uh, 20 to 30 seconds. Again, that dilution in these classic cocktails is really important. Really kind of bringing everything together, chilling it a little bit, letting it open up. And folks, honestly, there you have it. We are done. And again, that's what I love about these classic cocktails. So simple, so easy to make, quick to make. And then now we're quick to drink, I guess. So let's uh, see how the Sazerac lover loves my Sazerac again. Not on the at all. It has a beautiful like aroma. That spice at the end is really, really nice because it kind of mellows out and smooths out. Yeah. Really tasty. So that is all that we have for you today. We have gotten to talk a little bit about our Millstone Two Year Sour Mash Rye Whiskey. Um, so hit us in the comments. Let us know what you want to see videos on. Again, my name is Tone. This is Alexander. We are here at High Street, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.